time for Tween in Such a Good Mood. Walt Hohurst was one of the founding members of the band The Cure. He, he and Robert Smith, the two of them. Mm -hmm. Kids, yeah. So, formed in 1976. They slowly built an audience in their mid-80s, fighting skinheads, among other things. <laughs> Just as the band had its uh, first real chart success, Lowell got kicked out of The Cure. So 27 years it took you to put this book together. Right. And the book is called? The book is called Cured. Cured. Right. Yeah. Hey, a good tale of two imaginary boys. So um, what a story. You and Robert Smith met, and tell me if I'm wrong here, you were five years old at the bus yeah. stop. Yeah, five years old, first day of school. Yeah. Do you remember at five? Um, that whole... No, a little bit. I don't remember <laughs> everything. I remember, you know, I remember going to school the first day. Yeah. But, uh, you weren't standing there by yourself. No, no, with my mum. Uh -huh. and, and he had his mother as well. And uh, they put our hands together and said, you know, look after each other. Aww. We got on the bus together. That, that, that's that a terrific is so story. Sweet. Yeah. And for the rest of your lives, you were best mates forever. Yeah. Except for those years where you. Except for the years when we weren't, yes. And why did that happen? Well, I think, you know, I, I had certain problems uh, that made me really kind of unreliable. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when you're extreme young men in an extreme situation, extreme things happen, you know. Well, nobody, first of all, nobody is prepared for great success that no. comes to people. You can't train for it. There's yeah. no school for it. Right. And suddenly you have it. And if you have a genetic distinctions yes. that will are negative, they'll come out. In your, Absolutely. In your case, alcoholism, right, right. In, right in the family, right? Right. And my, my father, I realized, you know, many years later was alcoholic. And, uh, you know, it's something that's exacerbated by the, the lifestyle. So how long did it take until finally you parted ways? You just couldn't do it anymore, just as things were becoming really successful? Yeah, I mean, it was like becoming really big worldwide. Uh, we've been together for 13 years, and uh, then it all disintegrated a little. Was it hard? Um, yeah, it, it was very hard. It's like losing my family, you know? Yeah. So it wasn't just that the band broke up for you. Your best right. friend, your family, right, your brother. Right, my best uh, friends. Guy, uh, and, and Robert Smith is the guy who's not only your best friend, your bandmate, and you had tremendous success together. He was a guy you truly admired. Yeah, absolutely. He's a brilliant songwriter and uh, musical genius, but we're, you know, we, we have a, a bond that has surpassed all of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, many parts in your book you reflect back on your life. Uh, one particular passage caught my attention when you go to see your mother and she's dying of cancer. Right. And you are about to go on tour and yes. you know when you're there seeing her it's going to be for the last time. Right. And how hard it is for you to knowing that and leave and the fact that you're just becoming successful you think to yourself, she's never going to see this. Right. She'll never see this happen for me. Right. And you know, for one of the things I really wanted to do with Cured was, was write a book that was not just uh, behind the music part yeah. 10 hundred, you know, I just, <laughs> I wanted it to be a bit more of, uh, you know, a life story and something that people can relate to, you know. And that moment, I think, is something many people can definitely well, relate yeah, to. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. life happens and it's mm -hmm. a circle and we're all going to end up. And you want to have the success for your mom. You want your yeah, mom yeah, to yeah, do absolutely. that. Yeah. Say, mom, yeah. it was worth it all, right? Yeah, because she was always my, my uh, champion in lots of ways, you know, gave me a love of a lot of things. Uh, we have a shot here with your dad. Can you speak about him a little bit? Uh, my, my father was very uh, closed down. You know, he'd been in the Second World War, mm. and uh, I guess he was very affected by a lot of stuff there. So he came home and did the only thing he could, which was to drink and forget about There's it. There's a shot of him. Looks like Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, in yeah. Syria. He was, uh, at that that was point. in Syria, 1944, wow. at the end of the Second World War. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now. You have the wisdom now of experience and making the mistakes and learning from them. What would you like to have told yourself when you were <laughs> younger? And Going you'd like back. to tell, we've got a lot of musicians watching the show, young musicians who want to score. What do, what do you want to say to them? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think you can ever tell uh, your young self anything really, but maybe you want to slow down sometimes hmm. and just you know, experience what's going on around you without always running towards the hills, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it's interesting you say that though because you talk about how when you were going through this 
part of your life. You never kept a journal. You didn't really take pictures. Right. You were existential in the yes. sense that you wanted to be in the moment, in the moment. which the moment. many yeah. people aren't in the moment these days. Right, right. You know, and the key to that. Well, a lot of, a lot of people have asked me about, hey, did you have a backup plan for this? Like, if, this if the cure wasn't going to work, did you have a backup plan? No. I had absolutely no backup plan, which is probably why it worked. Yeah. You know? They say you, that. Yeah, because you don't second guess yourself. So don't second guess yourself, but put the brakes on a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but as you say, if somebody 19 years old is watching and they're just getting in the music business, they're not going to put the brakes on. No, and uh, perhaps the only way to find out is to find out, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. to do it for yourself, go All on right. that journey. There's an evening with you coming up uh, tomorrow at the Grammy Museum right. at L.A. Live downtown at 7.30. Uh, you got your book there as well. Cured, The Tale of Two Imaginary Boys, out now. Yeah. Who's your favorite band? Who's my favorite yeah. band? Oh, my goodness, there's too many to mention. My son has a new band. Okay, so that's it. What is it? They're called the Cuckoo Birds. The Cuckoo, the Cuckoo Birds, Cuckoo favorite Cuckoo. band, the yeah. Cuckoo Birds. There you go.